enemies and gents. In this video I'd like to discuss the concept of conservative libertarianism and whether or not it's actually possible. If you're American and have little to no understanding of political terminology from outside of your own culture, when you hear the word libertarian you probably think of the libertarian party and the policies associated with it. In reality, libertarianism is a very broad umbrella term for a range of political philosophies. The one thing they all have in common is some sort of focus on liberty. What the Libertarian Party of the United States embodies is specifically conservative libertarianism. This is a radically different political stance to libertarian socialism, which as the name would suggest is a form of left-wing libertarianism. Contrary to what conservatives might tell you, socialism does not necessarily mean an increase of state control over society, or indeed necessitate a state at all. There's a similar confusion surrounding the word liberal, which in classical European economics refers to something very different to the modern American form of liberalism. Classical liberals believe in something very similar to what modern conservative libertarians believe, whereas, from what I can gather, modern American liberals believe in something much closer to social democracy. The most glaring contradiction of conservative libertarianism for me is summed up by the following from the Libertarian Party's manifesto. Libertarians want all members of society to have abundant opportunities to achieve economic success. A free and competitive market allocates resources in the most efficient manner. Each person has the right to offer goods and services to others on the free market. The only proper role of government in the economic realm is to protect property rights, adjudicate disputes and provide a legal framework in which voluntary trade is protected. All efforts by government to redistribute wealth or to control or manage trade are improper in a free society. It seems almost blindingly obvious that people with more money will, by and large, have more freedom than people without much money, i.e. they can buy more things, they can travel to a greater number of places, and of course they can use their wealth to control people, specifically in that they can offer small amounts of their money to those without in exchange for their obedience. So it seems a free market only guarantees liberty for those with wealth. And if those with wealth can and do use their wealth to manipulate other people into obedience, well, that makes them an authority. So who, people who would support such a system are authoritarians. Thanks for watching.